Oh, 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 it is cold. It is spring. Oh, man, so good, eh? And let me show you what spring here in the UK looks like. This is spring, right here, with the daffodils in bloom, amongst other wonderful looking flowers. Oh, man. Oh, man, the swans are in their house. Oh, wicked. Wicked. Look at what I'm not going to show you. I have been here before, as you will remember, this house. Do I need to tell you what this flint house is? Nah. You know, don't you? It's Pools Ferry. Pools Ferry is named after John Paul Ferryman. It is built and designed of Elizabeth, originally named Okay, Sandins Ferry. There's a big plaque on the wall, people, that I have read to you before. But look, man, all these people, people, just swanning about. You're right there, big white duck. Oh man, look at him, he's just come in the land. Or was it a failed takeoff? This is spring. Time for Mr. King, sold Hitler. He's had his springtime, but today I will be showing you what life in Norwich is about during spring. You can come down and <laughs> you can come and feed the mucky ducks if you want to. Big old things. Right here, look. That's pretty cool, isn't it? It's all right being here. And I predict in about a week's time, I'm going to be sunbathing. Oh, look at these quackers. Look, they're swans. I hope they, like, they're all right. They're cool. I think you could probably. What do you want, mate? What do you want? I reckon you could hand feed these. That one's been tagged. I suppose a few of them would be tagged. But that is the Riverside Road of Norwich, where one grew up and learnt to fish all along that bank. Hey, what a wicked start to the day. <laughs> yeah, I'm croaky. I oh, know. I am Mr. Croaky. I saw up back there. I'm looking for a thumbnail, and I? <laughs> As I am in the cathedral grounds where I have to blag my way in. You used to just be able to drive in here, right? But because it's a bit upmarket, they don't want everyone and anyone just milling about, do they? So now you have to tell them who you are before you come in. Um, so I basically told them I was um, down on that house on the left, right in the corner, to do a removal quote. I said, I don't know the name of the people, I don't even know the number, that's down in that left-hand corner. So the bloke, you go, all right, I'll put you down as a resident uh, on a little ticket, which he's given me, I've seen the car, I'll hand it back to him when I go out. But you've all seen this place before, of course you have, and that cathedral. It's just a wicked start, oh man. It's two more swans now. I could hear them coming in. I was like, oh, well, it'd be wicked to get some photographic. Also, oh, mate, that's why I stopped. Look, I'm around Norwich taking pictures of butterflies, not butterflies, daffodils, and signs of spring. So that's what I'm doing. And so where I've been driving around this little cathedral, little places, taking photographs of um, hordes of butterflies like this, lots of other different stuff. I don't make some wicked photographs. Two swans are having a scrap. That's good footage. Sure, I'll get a good photograph. That's what all the noise is, these two. So I don't know if there's a bit of courting going on here. I don't know if there's a bit of love making. I don't know if there's a third party trying to get involved. Don't know. But it's, here we go. Look, hang on, look. We gotta get, we gotta get, are they mating? Are they making love or are they fighting? I'm like, go on, son. Don't know, you're having a little nip. It's got hold of him. This is wicked, man. That's so good. The Queen's birds. Look at that, man. That is just wicked. David Bellamy. Where are I? What, not David Bellamy. What's the geezer's name? This is proper, proper nature TV. Look at that. Well, I better get the... Oh, man. <laughs> I went to take my lens cap off. It's already off, so now I've got a smudge on my camera lens. So what are you guys up to? Whoa, man, look at that. Whoa. Whoa. 
that is awesome. That really is awesome. I didn't know I was going to see that. I didn't know I was going to capture anything like that on camera today. No, I did not. Man, I've just been out, like I say, just photographed, and I thought I'd pop down here, and I thought, oh, wow, let's start a vlog. Let's start a vlog. So there you go. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little vlog. <laughs> oh, now I've got to have to mill about Norfolk, around Norwich, to try and find something as brilliant as that. That was perfect, that was. I loved it. Loved it. Right. Right, photographs be on the Facebook page, perhaps a day before you see this vlog. What I'm looking about, there's a couple more, I'm, I'm, there's a couple more swans playing up a bit here. Don't know what's going on, but I'll get the BFC out and I'll get some proper footage. Alrighty, I've got some good photographs and a bit of film. That, was, that is what I call lucky. <laughs> I was going to say perfect timing, but... Um, no, I'd say lucky. Lucky. But here, look, I tell you, when you come in, you've got to blag your way. You need to give you a ticket. And that is, I blagged my way, and he's put me down as a resident. Short stay parking permit. That is what you have to do to get in here. The cathedral close is a bit prestigious. It is. <laughs> I am not. No, I do like it in here. You've seen this place before. So I'm now driving out. I think I now saw the parking warden going down that way. <laughs> I think so. I don't know. It was definitely a parking bloke. So is he at the top or not? Or has he gone on walkabout? So I have a check. So here you go, people. Very rare footage of somebody driving around the cathedral grounds. <laughs> I don't know how much you'll see, but I've, I've made a vlog about here before, so I won't. Go to, I won't drive, or shall I? Let's go have a little drive about now, a minute. Might as well. That entrance there is, 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 it gets pretty blocked. It's an entrance and an exit. Yet, I believe, that's Nelson by, is it Nelson or Wellington? I think Nelson. I think that was Nelson or, I can't remember. But there's a big old church to me left, to me right. To your left, but to my right, look at that. Look at that, that's a proper temple, that is. <sighs> Lady jogger. Whoa, if you could see what I could see. The Crooked House of Norwich is what lays directly in front of me. And I was going to take a picture, but I've got someone going to be up me chuff. So, let's have a little drive down Magdalen Street, where I used to live. Right, so... Guys, um, that was me just showing you that. <laughs> um, just to tell you that I don't fib. That was me, backup, evidence of how to get in, in there. You need to blag your way. <laughs> and if you tell him you're a resident, he'll probably ask, well, what number and what name? Because he'll probably, that the church, you can't live in there. You can't buy anywhere. Everything in there is to rent from the church. Um, it, it is, it's a cool place to live, but you need to be up the church's chuff to get in there. Right, so I am, it is now 10.35, so I'm off to see me mum. Hopefully I'll be in good spirits when I leave, as I've got a few other things that I need to bring to your attention. I do want to get the car cleaned. I do. I don't know how to do that right now, I don't know. Oh, and I've got to go shopping. I need stuff from Angler Square, because I've got to sort all my storage stuff out. Ah, oh, whilst I'm here. Ah, oh, man. So what's Anglin Square looking like on a Saturday? Hold this bus up, I'll drive nice and slow. Got no time for bus drivers at all. And I will hold them up <laughs> any time I can because they give me so much grief. They're like tie drivers, they just pull out. They think they're in a bus, you're going to stop. Well, um, it's very annoying when you're on a Lambretta. So I, I hold them up. I do not let the bus drivers get on the way. I don't, I don't like the buses, don't. Good traffic lights. You have to stop at the traffic lights in this country. You do. <laughs> Unlike other countries. All right, see in a bit. All righty. <clears throat> oh, man. Back in the city and owning a car is, is, is new. It's quite novel, guys. Uh, you, if you expect, I'm looking for somewhere to park. 
for more than 30 minutes, so I'll just have a nip in the city. I want to particularly go in the antique centre. So I am, it's like having this, where the scoop, where I'm on the Lambretta, I'll just park anywhere, can't I? Just pull up and park, having a motor. Oh, mate, it's a liability. You can't park anywhere illegal, you'll get clamped or get a ticket. Tickets aren't 20 quid anymore, they're like 100 quid. <laughs> just because you park your car somewhere. Oh, no, that's why you people left the UK. I just couldn't cope no more with that severe parking. Oh, I must have been terrible. Right. And then I noticed, I was over there, and I noticed this private car park for occupants of Wellgate Court. <laughs> That's what it said. <laughs> There's just no clamps or anything. But as I've now driven in, parking charge of £100, NTS private land, terms and conditions apply, authorised vehicles only. Ah, oh, man, so they've all got a red plate, uh, elite guard. You're like, oh, man, they're being guarded. All the parking spaces of being guarded as terrible. And there's a lock on the gate, no unauthorised parking, so you won't. I won't get away with parking in there, no. Uh, you know me, <laughs> I don't like, it. I'm part of this new world order. No, I'm old school and I'm staying old school and I will be old school forever and ever and ever. And that is a mighty long time, it is. So yeah. I've got one more little space where I might be able to go and take advantage of. There are little nooks and crannies, always, always and always. Um, I've parked the car up a few times today uh, and I've got, oh, mate, look at the queue. It's a queue all the way up to the end of the road. Ah. <sighs> ah. <laughs> oh. I don't want a queue. No, I'm not turning left. I'm actually turning right illegally at no right turn. But I'm, I'm, I'm only going, <laughs> see the queue on the left? I'm like, aim for me. That's for the mere mortals and that. So I, <laughs> there's a parking spot right here. Look, there's no cars coming, just a couple of people. <laughs> so here's where, <laughs> there's a parking spot there for loading, right? But here, up St. Gregory's alleyway, <laughs> That's me, sorted, parked for free. I've got half an hour. I can leave my bags and stuff here. I oh, know it's a bit of a liability. I've got to climb out that door. <laughs> of course, I'm a bit tight there, but I'll stick my drone and my gear in the boot. So, yeah, here I am. Hang on, let's take you off so you can see where I am. Let's go. Hang on, I ain't got a selfie stick on there. I just got me um, thing, so I want me keys when I turn the car off, Mr. King. That'll help. Let's get out and about wicked. Right, here I am. So there you go, St. Gregory's there. Look, St. Gregory's Alley. That's just where I am. I'll be all right. Everything will be all right. I just need to change this for my selfie stick and I might put a hat on. So the car is parked. And look at the light as we go through the tunnel of light and listen to the bells tolling for I believe that's midday. Well, there's a dude having a stretch. As we walk out to Pottergate, Pwah, around pissy uh, alleyway, I'm sure I heard someone basking. I'm sure I did. Oh, it's wicked, right? Spring is in the air. The sun is coming out yet. It is a bit brisky, and I do need air cut. But in the old dog, croppers, they're always busy. So I'm going in here. I am. For a look. Wicked, look at that. Proper antique collectible gear. Right here. Man, do not look cool. In your garden for Easter. Oh dear. Free. Local delivery, if you're local. Oh man, now that, I know where that come from. And I'm sure you guys have seen something like that, where I've been traveling around Thailand. <laughs> you may have seen, oh man, look at that. That's just 125 quid, it's wicked. Some wicked stuff. Right, 
Might be a bit of flickering. We'll see. We'll see. You know where I am. Oh, man, look at that. That's beautiful, man. <laughs> well, I'm going to have a quick scan. There is a bit of flickering, so I'll see you when I get outside. Great place to come. Saturday, any day a week, open, open seven days a week. And if you know, want to know what's inside, come to Norwich, come to Pottergate. Enjoy the weather. Enjoy the most historical city in England. And you can also get entertained by a man on an accordion. <laughs> How wicked, mate. That's superb. That's pretty good. You will find the streets of Norwich lined with entertainers. We also have, right here at Parkgate, our own award-winning fish and chips in there. <laughs> I haven't been in there for a while, though, so I can't tell you really how good they are. No. City's busy. Hopefully, uh, I just had a walk around the antique centre. Hopefully, I can just walk in. I'm just going to walk into the city. I am. Just show you what Norwich is like because the sun has come out on a wicked spring day. No, I do need air cut. I do. Grow your hair. <laughs> I do need air cut at some point. Me mate, the mud is he in? Hang on. Let's see if my mate is in. All right there, mate. How you doing? All right. You're back. I am. When did you get back then? A couple of days, oh, a couple of weeks. Can I come in? Yeah, Didn't mind being on camera? No. Ah, all right, wicked. Oh, cool. This is mod one, <laughs> by the way. And this We're is here. David. Oh, wicked. And it's not flickering. No. Oh, cool. That's so good. <laughs> yeah, that's good because they, they don't like it when it flickers. Ah. I will need a new pair of shoes at some time. Yeah, David, yeah. I do. Ah, oh, no, look at that. There you go. Look, I spotted what I like straight away. Them. That'll do me. Nice pair of them. Nice Italian looking shoe. And I've got that funny haircut to go with it, look. Yeah. And, mate, I've got, I've got some of them. But they're real ones, isn't they? Yeah, that's from the uh, show, basically. That is. Oh, right, I know I bought mine off a of market in, uh, in Patia. Mine are a little bit different to that, different lenses. The trouble with them is they're really narrow. Yeah, they're, they're too narrow on the nose. I think that's what I've noticed. Yeah. And you've got wicked new bell staffs, are they? Or? No, that's a Chicano. Chicano, okay. Wicked gear. Wicked gear, if you're in Norwich and you want to look a bit here and there and you don't have to have a scooter, no, 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 you can, you don't. Liam ain't got one, look, he walk about in one of them. Do you know what I mean? You don't have to have a scooter to buy some wicked bit of clover. And you got some nice cool stuff in here, man. All kind of gear. Business good? Yeah, it's been all right, apart from the rain, it's been nice. Yeah, I know. That's why I come out today. Look at these wicked Paisley shirts, man. I know, it's put everyone off. It's spring though, mate. Yeah, spring in the air. It actually feels a bit spring-like. Mate, I've been going out, look, right? I'll tell you what, next week, it's going to feel like summer. Yeah, yeah. It, it is. So you've got all these little badges, all these little trinkets, little stickers, sew on patches. It's like, I was going to say, it's like Charlie's Bazaar was back in the day. Yeah, this yeah. ain't Charlie's Bazaar, is it? That was, that was this shop. Yeah. Man. There's a classic picture of the pumps and what? 78 sitting out the front. The really? Yeah. Oh, that's brilliant. The amount of pin badges I stole, I stole over a hundred. I did. I'm proud of that from Charlie's Bazaar, from this very shop about 40 years ago. Yeah, but that would be, that would be 40 years ago. 40 odd years, I'm, what am I, oh, yeah, 40, a little bit more even. Yeah. Yeah, 40, 40, yeah. It's crazy to think that, right? And, and, and you know what, all the times I've been in, I never ever, uh, just thought like this is old Charlie's Bazaar. Charlie's Bazaar was just so, this was all punk rock stuff, studded belts, all your patches, mainly pin badges, but yeah, punk rock. Um, so there you go, there's a similarity of punk rock and mods. The rebirth of the mods was in the 80s, Quadrophenia, Sting, and all that. So very, very closely associated. And even the music, Secret Affair, they got that, they got that attitude that the punk rock has had. That was the youth of the day. That was. And this is mod one in Parkgate. <laughs> Wicked. That is how I roll. No, it's fun, Dave. That is. Um, I'm, I'm parked up, so um, yeah. I'm hidden. I don't know how long I'll get away with not getting a ticket. But um, I've just got to go and see what the market's like. So I can show everyone that life 
is, is beginning again. You can come out from your cave, get out from under them covers in your bed and get out in the city and start living again. Wicked. David, awesome, mate. Have a good day. Appreciate it, buddy. Au revoir. <laughs> Superb. And that is mod one. Right there in Pottergate. And that shop used to be Robin's Records. You've got all your singles in there. And then over there, you've got all your albums. And that still is head in the clouds. All right, it's to steal my crazy color to make my hair go a bit pink. Well, I'll go have a quick walk. I've got my camera out because I've been taking photographs of spring. I have. I have bluebells, snowdrops, daffodils, and swans. Well, 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 I said that's why I had to blag um, that ticket so I could get in the cathedral. Ah, oh, man, that sun. Feel it. Booming. In my face. It's awesome. As I pass. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> oh, still chesty. I am. So I'll speed this up. But look at the light shining through these tunnels. It's wicked. It's cool. And that is Norwich Market. That has been established since the Book of Doomsday was written. It is. It's one of the oldest markets on the planet. Yes. Now I've told you before, but I will tell you again. The Doomsday Book <laughs> sounds a bit ominous, I know. But it was the first stock take of buildings across Great Britain. And Norwich has the cathedral, the market, and the church, not the church, the castle. <laughs> ah, in it, does. So here we go, walking in to the onslaught of people out on a spring day in Norwich. It's wicked, man. What, right, buddy? Good on you, man. Just playing out another song. Way, that was wicked. <laughs> Cheers, mate. <laughs> Did you hear what he said? It get me bardy. Well, that was wicked. <laughs> Talk about how to use a, a promotion. How good is, is this, though? Enjoying it. The streets are packed. And like David just said, people are coming out because the sun is out. The temperatures are rising. Spring is in the air. <laughs> no, it is. It's wicked. Now this guy, hang on. What I'll do, I'll just stop this right now. Hang on. All right, the reason why I just stopped that and now I've just started it because I'm 90% this, this music will be copyrighted. I don't think they're his own songs he's singing. We'll see him in a minute. I'm walking up to him. But this happens. What is that? Free Quran. Who is it? It's this guy, man. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, baby, I've been here before I've seen you so my white destroy I used to live alone before I knew you I've seen your flag and your marble eyes Love is not a victory, my chance to come it's so broken, hallelujah, 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 what a 
are contrasts. That, oh, that's wicked. That is brilliant. But, but, you can hear him. <laughs> I can see him. Here he is, the star of every single show. Mr. Angle Grinder Man. There he is. Way. You all right, buddy? Thank you. <laughs> Take a bow, Mr. Angle Grinder Man. What a contrast. Now, you guys may think that takes some bollocks to do what I do, but for what this guy does, that takes some big, big bollocks. How are you, mate? I'm good, man. I'm good. What is, is that your name on that yeah. thing there? Yeah, yeah. That was brilliant, man. Yeah, that is brilliant what you're doing. You have a great day, mate. Boom. That's wicked. That does take some kahunas to do what he's doing. And he's creating a real cool atmosphere there. And the contrast that those homeless people just getting a little bit of something out of life. That's what that is. They may look a bit funny. They're down on their luck. But you know what? They still get up and dance, can't they? It's wicked. Oh, man. Hello. <laughs> I turned into a Kamaki. Oh, man. <laughs> and our big issue seller. He's, he's, doing, he's doing online orders now for the big issue. <laughs> day, All right, buddy. All the best, mate. That is wicked. He's, a, he's an antiques dealer on the side. He has, he has, he has. He sells a big issue to make a little bit of extra money. He started off when he was homeless, got himself some extra money, used his initiative to buy a few antiques, collectibles, because he has a cabinet in St. Gregory's where I just visited. That's how I know. Dealers, mate. People. Get half a chance, use it. Get a bit more life. Wicked. Oh, man. So it's just a little walk. I got carried away with myself there because I've just come for a walk in the city, show you how busy it is. Never know what I'm going to bump into, what I'm going to... Oh, man, what content I'm going to catch. Or anything, man. He's still doing well with his coffee shop right there. Wicked. And that... Is abandoned. <laughs> How? <laughs> How am I going to get in there? Good eye. Good eye, buddy. No way. A subscriber, no less. We could. And you've got your Mother's Day gifts. Oh, mate, you, you ain't got any cards. We want to. Do you? Yeah, we do. Oh, when well, you're on. When you went to the Himalayas. Sir. You enjoyed that? No, I, I think the Himalayas was some of the best stuff I've done. Yeah. I, I, I just loved it. Mind you, the weather's a bit like here. So I've got my Himalayan shirt on, look. It's doing me well. So you guys are here for, uh, were you here just weekends or just to, for the, all year round? Oh, that's brilliant. Oh, and I've got a card. Have you really? Oh, man. Oh, how cool is that? People in Norwich, right? It's brilliant. That's why I like coming back to Norwich. Because when I walk about here, people in Norwich now shout, good day. That ain't what they used to shout. They used to shout something very different. <laughs> so it is, it's brilliant. Oh, mate, good on you. Brilliant. I'm just doing, like I said, a perfect day today. It's a beautiful day of spring. This, this one's on the Sean King channel. Yeah, we know. We want to be four times, five times a week. You do? Oh, wicked. Well, thank you for your support, guys. What? You do? Well, I was going to say with the flowers, because he used to buy, did you, did you buy from the Slang Flower people? No, his dad used to come see us when we had to pick a mix store. Oh, pick a mix store? What was with Dashwood? No? No, we were there. Oh, over there. Oh, with Derek, the Norwich City. Ah, wicked. All right, well, hang on. My dad sends his regards. <laughs> Guys, have a good day. Cheers. Ah, wicked. <laughs> so cool, man. I guess it is what I like coming back. I was partially known. My dad was really famous. The most well-known person in Norfolk, my father was, voted on Radio Norfolk. More famous than Robert Kett, the last revolution leader of Great Britain. He was hung at Ken Kett's Oat, I believe. Or his last stand. Anyway, right, I'm not going to walk back. That's so cool, just meeting people. It's nice. And I, I, it is nice. Like I say, Norwich, it's a great place to keep coming back to because of the people and the place. It's wicked. Right, I'm going to get back to the motor before I get a ticket. Wow, I hope you like my little trek through the city. I've now been all around Whittingham, uh, Whittingham Broads, but I couldn't find anything that I would thought would be interested. That still looks a bit bleak. So I'm now going back. 
I'm actually here I am, look, the tarmac, Wade Bridge, yeah, for the old Asphalt Company. You see the old, oh man, all the old plant and everything in there. I used to go in there and collect Asphalt once upon a time, but that is not why I'm showing you an Asphalt plant, no. Look at this. Mate, this has been abandoned for so many years. It's had a couple of fires, it's been burnt out. It's all smashed to bits, right? And um, it's the first time I've seen it like this in a long time. I kept my eye on it. It's a great big works, like CT TV in operation 24 hours. It tells you to keep out, right? That's red rag to a bull, you know that. I reckon I can sneak under there. So I am rather happy because I have just found somewhere Oh man, that is a wicked abandonment project, all in there. And there might be all the old machine, I don't know, I think they may have stripped everything out because this workbench, like this stuff comes from out there, this may be the last lot of that workbench could be refurbed, couldn't it? There's a nice bit of old wood there, make a wicked bit of furniture out of that. Proper shabby chic that up. But look at this. Great big lump of scrap metal. Here. Just laying there, man. From France. That is wicked. That is a wicked bit of kit. Oh, I, never, I thought I'd lift that. I thought I'd get that in the motor. <laughs> <laughs> I think by the look of it, that's some kind of cabling device. Just because of that. Probably put cabling on it or cut it. But I just thought that looked wicked in Woody's yard. I was just going to put that there. I just parked there, I thought I'll have that. It's been, that's, that's been dumped there. That, you weigh that in. If you could get all that on your truck, you would need a forklift and a couple of crowbars. You get that on your truck. Oh man, you can make something out of that. Is that a plastic barbecue? You just don't know what you're gonna see on a scrap heap. You just don't know. We'll have a look round. <laughs> You've got some cable, hose pipe. People riding, having a look. I was hoping that was going to be security. I was. I like security. <laughs> you know what I mean? They put all like all. When the security come, you know what they do? They get all pumped up and they all get out all agitated and all that. <laughs> Just like the police do in Thailand. They do. That's part of the thing. They make you scared. That don't work for me. No, no, I don't. <laughs> Actually. <coughs> <coughs> You climb up it, you can see if there's any thing in there. I might be able to drive in around that close there to see if I can get a better view. But so there you go, that's me making sure I'm keeping myself busy. Um, because I've now got loads of new subscribers and viewers on the abandonment channel due to the Phuket Zoo now. Oh man, that's my biggest vlog. It's had over, excuse me, it's had over 300,000 views. Phuket Zoo, it has. Train. <laughs> this is Trails where I'm at, by the way, guys, if you didn't know. And I've been drawn to that building right there. Beautiful spring day. Wow, all this plant's all brand new. That is all new, that building. A whole new plant, man. Because all this stuff over on the right, that's all old. I want a few of these railway sleepers. I do. Could do. Could do with a few of these. Could. But there you are. Right on the railway line. And I was looking across, because that building there, man, it looks abandoned. It's all boarded up. But where all these tractors are, I reckon that's an old house. And that derelict used for storage. I reckon. Oh, wicked. Springtime. It's wicked, man. Everybody is waking up and getting out of bed. Wicked. Right. Hmm. Happy ending time. Already.